This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. In this session, we're going to create a very simple plot and annotate it in MATLAB. So first of all, let's generate some data to plot. We'll define the vector x using the linspace function to start at zero, go to two pi radians and do so in a hundred steps. We can then define y to be sine x. So now I have two variables that I want to plot. I simply use the plot command to say plot x against y. And when I hit enter, MATLAB displays a figure window with the plot ready to annotate. Now there are two ways of annotating plots in MATLAB. You can either use the interactive tools from the figure window, or you can issue commands at the command line. So let's start by looking at the interactive tools. We'll click on the button in the toolbar that opens the interactive tools. And now we're able to select different elements of the plot to annotate. So let's click on the axis and turn the grid on and add some axis labels. We'll also give the plot a title. Now we can select on the plot itself and we have the option of changing the line style, the line thickness or colour. Or if we were plotting experimental data, we might choose to turn the line off altogether and plot the data with some markers. So now that we've annotated our plot, we can click on the toolbar to turn off the annotate plot tools and we're ready to save. So choosing Save As from the File menu, you'll notice we've got a range of different formats that we're able to save the figure in. Now if we were saving the figure for a report, we might choose something like a JPEG. But I would always recommend that whatever format you choose, you always also choose the MATLAB figure format. Because the MATLAB figure format allows you to open the figure at a later date and edit it whereas something like a JPEG is a bitmap format that can't later be edited. So I'm firstly going to save my plot as a MATLAB figure file. And I'm also going to save it as a JPEG so I can include it in a report if I want. And if we close the figure window and we have a look in our current directory browser, you can see the two plots that I just saved there, the one in matlabs.figure format and the one in the .jpeg format for my report. Now I also mentioned that you could annotate a plot from the command window. So if we go back to the command window, use the up arrow to get back our plot command, I can combine it with some annotations from the command window. So for example, I could turn the grid on I could label my x and y axis. And I could also give the plot a title. And if I hit enter, I now get my plot with its annotations in place. And you can use whatever you feel is more convenient for you, either annotating your plot using the interactive tools or from the command line. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.